Sup my dudes, Valk here, and today I'm going to be showcasing off a team that I think is absolutely insane. Um, I could, I could swap out Shanks for Chaos just for more damage. I think that, that's an option, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to run this instead. I think this is going to be plenty enough, more than plenty enough. And we're going to showcase off the Aronkar team and how strong it is. So, if you guys see stuff like this where I'm like kind of bugging out or lagging, it's because my internet's been really bad lately. I'm going to try to stream a little bit later, but no guarantees because, once again, my internet's been pretty pretty awful consistently. But this team is nuts. I want to talk about uh, the Aronkar team because I feel like it's really slept on. If you guys don't know, Okiora has an Aronkar plus 130% minus 10% SPA lead. It makes him essentially the best leader in the game. The only issue is he's a leader for Aronkar, which is like two good units essentially, right? The thing is, is those two good units happen to be really, really, really good. Um, Ukiora, a lot of people don't know that LR plus Ukiora is actually a really, really good unit, as well as Stark. I know I made a video on Stark. Stark's an amazing boss killer. But what a lot of people don't know about Ukiora is how good he is on placement. Uh, Ukiora on placement is insanely powerful. And he's going to be kind of what carries us here at the start. Um, we're going to do this. We're going to just place. All we're going to do for now is just place a ramen guy. And then we're going to place an Okiora. And our Okiora is going to kind of carry for a little while. But after a bit, well, once we start, we're going to place Okiora. So we're not going to do any auto skipping. We're going to kind of buy our time and wait. And now we place Okiora. But look, Okiora has a 3.5 SPA. Yeah, you guys can see where I'm talking about with the bad internet. Um, Okiora has a 3.5 or 3.15 SPA. And he's able to go ahead and do 24k each hit. That's going to make it so Okiora is going to carry for quite a bit at the beginning here. Um, dude, my internet's so bad right now. But at least you guys know why I'm not streaming. So, uh, Okiora is going to carry pretty hard here at the very beginning. And later on, it's going to turn into uh, start carrying really, really hard. So, hopefully none of them sneak by me while I'm lagging super, super hard. But, like I said, there's nothing I can really do because of uh, just the internet's been like this for a minute. Alright, so we're going to do this. We're going to feed. We're going to make sure to get our ramen guy up first. Uh, ramen guy getting maxed out is definitely my priority here. Uh, we're going to keep Okiora there, and we're going to keep the Starks away, because we do want Okiora to actually have the opportunity to ramp up and get really, really strong. So now that we've got some upgrades on Ramen Guy, we're actually going to upgrade the hell out of Okiora to give him the range so he can start building that raise attack and start really carrying, because he's going to be a pretty core strategy as we move forward and get everything up. So you guys can see he's at 192k on a 5.4 SPA. It's going to keep going up. And now we're going to go ahead and do this. Get him this. And I think one more after he actually loses it. So next up we're going to start working on this. Yep. And we're going to just leave that there. It's so hard to do this with lag. But you guys, you guys can see what I'm dealing with here. So now that he is stacking up, now that he's stacking up to the insane degree that he's going to, we're going to go ahead and start working on everything else. Because look, we're only at wave four. We already have one Okiora like giga turbo stacking. So now we're going to start working on getting all the Okiors down here and just stacking up. And once they get maxed out, once they get to the point where they're stacking really, really well, uh, that's whenever we're going to, whenever they're all full stacks, that's whenever we're going to actually set down our Starks to go ahead and melt the boss. So now we're going to go here, we're going to go here, and we're going to start upgrading another Okiora. Ooh, I might have clicked that too many times. I ran out of money, thankfully. So next up, we're going to do this all the way up, all the way up. And you guys can see the range. The range he has, 233. Which is why we're putting him all the way back here. Uh, I got to be careful clicking here because, once again, I'm really laggy. So, who knows what could happen. Uh, but, yeah. So, next we're going to do is we're going to set up a bunch of shanks with time stop. 
And we're going to actually set them up around here, I think is going to really be to play. So we're going to do this, one, two, three on the Shanks. Uh, Shanks doesn't need the attack buff or anything. He doesn't need any buff uh, because he's not here for that. He's going to be here literally just to stun them up and buy time for the rest of the units to dish out their damage. So here we're going to do this. We got one done. Next, we're going to work on a second one. And like I said, we're just keeping our auto skip off so we can just see exactly how much damage can get turboed out. But yeah, um, Soul Hall for me at this point is pretty much a joke. Like th this has just become like a good little testing ground because I feel like a team should be able to turbo dump on this uh, and just do so much damage that it doesn't really matter. But like I said, we're going to see exactly how wacky this gets essentially. Uh, and then we're going to do this. We're going to max you out. And we're going to go ahead, fully max you out. That way we can get the stun loop going with these guys. And then we're going to put a flower magician next to them. So here we're going to do this. Um, hopefully I don't lag and mess up my loop. Uh, okay, so now we do that. It's a little off, but it'll be fine. Okay, so we hit a little bit of lag here. Yeah, we're a little off, but like I said, we're lagging so bad it doesn't really matter. Um, next I do this. I place down a Flower Magician here. Then I'm going to want to place down a Flower Magician back here. Because this is where we're going to put the Starks at. I believe one Stark is going to be able to reach. Oh, I haven't been feeding my children. Here you go, children. Eat up. Okay, so now they all look to be like maxed out. So now we're going to fully max them. I had one point, what is this, 1.57 superpower. Really, really powerful on a very low SPA with a 7.4 or a 5.4 SPA. So now we're going to max out a Stark, stick him all the way in the back, and see if he has enough range to actually hit at the very beginning. He does. So the whole point here is you're going to want to try to max out the amount of range these units have um, to keep to give them as much of opportunity of ambush as possible. So now that all of them are down, we're going to feed again, and then we're going to max this one out. And you guys can see the amount of damage that they're going to be able to dish out. 700k on a 290 range ambush is just going to be absolutely nuts. Um, this is pretty much over at this point, and I imagine Ulkior is going to literally melt uh, with the amount of damage coming out with this team. Uh, it's going to be very funny just to see. Yeah, you guys can see he's already at 66 million. Yeah, this is 107 million, yeah. Uh, even through lag, you guys will be able to just see this. Yeah, look. Bloop. He's going to probably just like straight up disappear in like half a second. So, next we do this. Like I said, I didn't even perfect time stop loop it because of how much I'm lagging. So, yeah, this is going to be really funny to watch. Uh, are one of you even going? I feel like one of them's not even going, to be honest. Yeah. So, yeah, you guys can see just his HP is just disappearing at this point. Just bloop, bloop, bloop. He's getting a little bit closer, but look how much range they cover. They cover, like, the entire map. And this is why this team's really underrated and actually really, really strong. It's not instantly deleting him, but he can barely move because of how good Shank's time stop is. Even with me setting it up on lag. Um, Shank's time stop is so good that it's able to keep him in place long enough for them to really utilize their ambush passive um, and be able to just churn out tons of damage and not to mention the Okiors with their superpower you guys can see how much damage they've done just absolutely absurd and this is with them being type disadvantaged yeah that's that's pretty much it uh, anyways thank you guys for watching let me know what you guys think in the comment section below I'll catch you guys in the next one peace